Hello, I'm Stephanie Quine with the Weekly Law Report. Here are our top stories this week. A study of 80 law firms and five social networks has ranked DeLay Piper and Slater and Gordon as the highest social media users. Slater's and DeLay were the only firms on all five networks, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Google Plus and Twitter. The BRR Media Snapshot was released last week. LinkedIn was the network of choice for Australian law firms, while Google Plus lagged the field. Google Plus is probably just one social network too many. I mean, we're only just getting our heads around how to use YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and to have Google Plus into the fray is, is just fatiguing us, I think. Uh, it's a real shame because there are a lot of features on Google+. David Bushby credited King & Wood Mallisons and Clayton Utes with the most forward-thinking strategy. Uh, they've got really creative um, videos, photos, uh, they've got polls and questions for their followers. Uh, there's plenty of Facebook apps out there as well and they actually make use of those apps and there's different functions. So uh, it's, it's not just straight text updates uh, or photos, they are making really good use of, of multimedia uh, and engaging um, grads that way. And they're seeing their light count go up because of it. Bushby said Facebook, which has the most eyeballs on it during any period of the day, offered the greatest potential for business content. People are looking at Facebook updates more than they do their own inbox. So there's a huge audience, huge audience retention there, or an opportunity for audience retention if you can get in front of them with engaging content. And for an extended version of that interview with David, visit our website. A prominent agribusiness lawyer has weighed in on the federal government's draft national food plan. Baker and McKenzie partner and former Mars General Counsel David Watson said the Green Paper released last month steers away from competition law aspects around the power of Coles and Woolworths and offers no new ideas on foreign investment. Do migration agents need a law degree? Well, according to immigration law specialist Maria Jockel, they do. Jockel is calling for an overhaul of the Migration Agents Registration Authority after the body revealed 70% of migration agents don't re-register after the first year. Jockel claims that only legal practitioners are qualified to navigate this area of law, which is covered by 16,000 pages of policy guidelines and around 150 visa categories that are constantly changing. And the Attorney General has proposed higher court fees for heavy court users. The move aims to encourage alternative dispute resolution and break the habit of those that rely on the courts as a forum of first resort. At an ADR workshop hosted by the New South Wales Bar Association on Saturday, Nicola Roxon said a fee hike for frequent users such as corporations would act as a financial disincentive for long drawn out litigation. Is this a fair move by the AG? You can find more details on that story and more at our website and you can subscribe to this weekly video wrap via the link below. I'm Stephanie Quine, thanks for watching.